Now happening today, the FDNY and other top officials are launching a national campaign to educate people about the dangers of lithium ion batteries. This after fires sparked by the batteries killed three more Pete New Yorkers just this past week. Zania Maldonado live on Randall's Island with the details on this. Zania? Well, Chris and Mary, the FDNY says fire departments worldwide are dealing with an increase in incidents involving lithium ion batteries, which is why they are holding events like the one later this morning here at the FDNY training facility, where they're set to demonstrate the risk these lithium ion batteries pose and also discuss tips people can follow to keep themselves, their homes safe, and also prevent future fires. Now, today's event kicking off a national campaign called Take Charge of Battery Safety, which includes a new PSA and tips to educate people about safer use of lithium ion battery powered devices. The FDNY is partnering up with the U.S. Fire Administration and the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission for this campaign, all in hopes to decrease the number of fires sparked by these batteries. So far this year, 233 fires have been caused by lithium ion batteries, resulting in 124 injuries and 17 deaths, according to the FDNY, an increase across the board compared to 2022 and 2021. Just this past Sunday, fire marshals confirming a fire that killed three people inside a Brooklyn home was caused by a lithium ion battery. Found inside that house, the remnants of two e scooters burnt to a crisp. Now, back out here live at the FDNY training facility, today's event is set to kick off at 10 later this morning. Live on Randall's Island, Zania Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Zania, thank you.